Hello and welcome to the first British Candy Authority in a year and a half. I'm really, really bad at doing these. For those of you who aren't familiar with British Candy Authority, I am, in case you haven't figured it out, British. And I live in America. And I don't think very highly of American chocolate. And I think it's important for me to tell you, as Americans, that your chocolate is terrible. So I'm doing this on a candy by candy basis, going through all of your candy and eating it and appraising it in real time on the camera. Except not in real time, because I'm obviously editing this. And it's not like it's a live broadcast. It's not like you click play and I suddenly wake up and go, I need to eat a candy bar. That's, un that's unmanageable. That's unrealistic. I can't function that way. It will kill me. I record these little vlogs. They go up on the internet and you uh, get outraged at my dislike, 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 and dislike uh, of your rancid, rancid candy. Where, what are we doing this, this, this time round? This go around on uh, British Candy Authority. Um, I figure I would eat something with a person's name on it, uh, so I could feel guilty about having accidentally consumed someone else's candy. This week, uh, of that theme, we have O. Henry. Never had O. Henry before in my life, and uh, it actually has, it's, it's peanutty, so I may never have it again. I'm not a big fan of peanuts in my candy, um, but, so I'm just gonna, we'll start by, we'll start where we usually start, uh, by appraising uh, the, the wrapping and uh, outlining its shortcomings. Actually, I really like this. I like the, the, the typeface, the font, the color choices are very bold. Um, the font is, it's heavy, it's thick, it's eye-catching. When I when I saw this uh, on the shelf, it kind of leapt out of me. I went, oh, which it says, <laughs> which, you know, I mean, it didn't have my name. If it said, oh, Ben, then it would have been, ha, huh, I have to eat this. But instead it says, I, I don't know who Henry is. If, I, if, if you're Henry and I'm eating your candy bar, please do let me know um, because I, I will feel guilty about it for several hours. Okay, so I'm going to have a go at opening this, which is going to be a little bit difficult because I have the carpal tunnel right now. Oh, easy. Easy to get in. Oh, it smells. It's, it has the, the distinct smell of American chocolate with peanuts in. Actually, it smells a lot like a Snickers. And if you don't know what a Snickers smells like, then you are uh, one of God's people because that is not a nice smell. Snickers do not smell um, in the least part appetizing with this you can smell the peanut through the chocolate which doesn't strike me as um a positive let's have a go at this let's uh let's let's ruin my life okay hmm. i have concerns my chief concern right now is there's a very clean cut through a peanut um that doesn't it doesn't look like I've bitten into a peanut. It looks like I've bitten into something peanut flavored and peanut shaped. It's kind of hard to see, I guess, but it doesn't look like peanut. And it doesn't really taste like peanut. It tastes like something that is trying to taste like, like peanut. Well, I didn't intend to put the whole thing in my mouth, but there we go. This whole thing is just soft. There's no crunch of the peanut. It's just pure artifice, and I have to keep eating it, I've got to finish it, I'm contractually obligated, if I don't, Mikey and Chris fly into LA and flog me, now, they don't leave immediately, because if you're flying into LA, you stay for a little bit, so obviously we're going to go to Disneyland, maybe Magic Mountain, so it'll be nice, but I just don't want to be hit, so, but now it smells like fart, this one tastes different, this tastes like someone farted on this candy bar during the manufacturing pro I'm not even kidding. I understand now why it says peanutty. You can't say it's got peanuts in it because it doesn't have peanuts in it. We are looking at something containing peanut-shaped blobs of something that tastes like peanut but is in fact probably a person's fart. That is the conclusion I've come to. The other thing is the name, O. Henry. Now, I'm sure when they came up with that name, their thought process was, oh, it's excitement. It's like, oh, Henry, oh, Henry, oh, Henry. Like that's it's like, ah, oh, eye catching. I think it's disappointing. I think it's like a, when a parent walks in and catches you masturbating and their immediate response is, oh, Henry, not again. It is 
uh, an exclamation of disappointment, of that kind of resigned disappointment of a parent who has long since given up on their child. That is what O. Henry is. This is not nice. This is not nice at all. It's way too soft. It tastes artificial. And maybe I'm expecting too much of American candy. Maybe, maybe the problem isn't with American candy, but maybe it's with me expecting it not to taste manufactured. And when it's, it is, it is clearly it's manufactured. That's part of the process. It's, it's, they are mass manufactured in a factory. But then I think about European candy. I think about British chocolate. I think about Belgian chocolate, which is mass manufactured and still manages to taste like someone put a little bit of care and love and affection into the manufacturing process. This tastes like it was farted out by someone who doesn't like people. It tastes like someone attempting to encapsulate a perfect moment of disappointment, which would explain the name. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and give this a 2 out of 10. I wouldn't wish this upon anyone. It's uh, Keep in mind, 2 out of 10 is still higher than Hershey, which I refused to give a numerical value to. <clears throat> now I've got faux peanuts stuck in my throat, so I guess I have to go and vomit that up. But uh, thank you for watching me um, ruin my life. Feel free to leave in the comments suggestions for other American candy bars that you think I should put in my mouth on purpose. Like this video if you like, subscribe to this channel if you want. Uh, there's other stuff here, there's movies with Mikey, there's Port Center, there's Scarejet with Chris Straub, and there's more stuff to come including more British Candy Authority. So thanks for watching. Um, I'm going to... I think I'm going to call my uh, sponsor. <laughs>